Welcome back, Stina here, and I have a collab to share with you. When Merit reached out to me with an email titled Merit Beauty x Stina, I was so excited to do this collaboration because as you guys have seen in my previous videos, I've used a Merit blush before, which is this cheeky blush. I liked it so much that I was really interested in trying out the rest of Merit Beauty's line. So it was honestly perfect when they reached out to me. Merit is actually launching their new signature lip lightweight lipstick and I'm so excited to be one of the partners to get to work with them on this new launch. I have here the shades Tiger and Cabo. And in addition to letting me select two shades from the new launch, they also gifted me an additional five items of my choice to be able to do a full face look, which I'm so excited by because I am someone that likes simple looks. On my day to day, I just love to quickly use my hands to apply everything and just be on the go. So I'm really, really excited to test out whether or not I can simply just use my hand for a quick and easy but classy full face look. That still lets my natural beauty shine through because we're all unique and beautiful. Mary Beauty is one of those brands that makes sure that their skin products are good for sensitive skin, so I really wanted to try this out today. Their products are not only safe for the skin, but they're also safe for the planet as well. It's cruelty-free, vegan, they use recyclable packaging, and they even gave us this cute makeup bag that's reusable. So many products! Let's start with the swatches. First, we have their Flush Balm Cream Blush in the shade Terracotta. I chose this shade, which is a warm cream, because I already had the cheeky pink color, and I thought that this shade would look great as kind of a bronzer or a light contour or even just kind of a blush bronzer combo. This is a foolproof, flexible balm that deposits a creamy, transparent veil of color that lets your skin show through. It's supposed to be light coverage with a radiant finish. You can definitely build it up, and I thought two swipes gave plenty of color. Now I'm going to jump into their new product launch, which is the Signature Lip Lightweight Lipstick in the shade Cabo, which is a soft orange red. I chose this color because I love orange reds, especially for spring and summer. It's just a bright pop of color that makes me happy. This is a sheer lipstick with a satin finish, with the benefits of a lip balm without the heaviness of a traditional lipstick. Next we have the shade Tiger and oh my goodness did I make so many videos about Tiger because of Lunar New Year this year. So when I saw that Merit had a product with a shade named Tiger and they didn't try to pull it off as some Lunar New Year themed product, I knew I had to get it because I can just appreciate a Tiger product in general. And I picked this color because I love brick reds. They are so wearable. This one looks more brown to me, which I think is pretty on trend with all the 90s nostalgia happening right now. Here it is comparing Tiger and Cabo together. We have the shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil, and I chose the shade Sangria, which is a deep berry. I wanted that I just ate a popsicle look, but the more mature version that's not so bright red. And much more wearable too. It's a slick of sheer color infused with rose hip oil and shea butter for healthy looking lips all day long. Moving on to their Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Foundation and Concealer Stick, and I chose the shade Cream, which is a fair shade with warm undertones. It's a lightweight, medium coverage complexion stick with a natural finish, and it can replace both foundation and concealer. Next, the Day Glow Dewy Highlighting Balm, and I chose the shade Bounce, which is a rose gold. It's a sheer lightweight moisturizing highlighter made for a daytime wear that visibly illuminates your skin for a dewy glow with zero sparkle. Last, we have the brown 1980 Volumizing Eyebrow Pomade Gel, and I chose a shade brown, which is a light to medium cool brown. This is a tinted gel designed to give you your most face-framing brows yet, shaping, grooming, and adding hold for a fuller, more natural look. Here's the swatches for all seven products. I'm really liking all the warm, orangey browns and reds. So let's test the products out. I'm going to start with this foundation stick by making a few lines and then I'm going to blend it out with my hands after warming my fingers. I think that this shade is just fine because once I blend it out, it won't look as yellow anymore. Be sure to warm your fingers up first just to make it easier to blend the product. I kind of feel like this is a nice little facial massage as I'm blending the products out. 
I don't even have to rub very hard because of how creamy the foundation stick is, which is great because I've used sticks before that are really hard to move and I feel like I'm tugging on my skin too much, which I don't wanna do on my face. So the creamy texture of this is perfect. How do you think my skin looks? It's supposed to be a medium coverage, but I definitely think it's more on the light to medium side. Uh-oh. I spot a pimple, so let's try to use this and see if I could get rid of some of that red. And I think it's covering it up pretty well. Obviously, you'll still see a slightly raised bump. For the most part, it's not an antagonizing pimple staring at you anymore. It's supposed to be a medium coverage, but for me, it was more light to medium, but I didn't use that much product. And you can always build it up more. I have the shade Cream. Now I'm going to use the Flush Balm Cream Blush in Terracotta and remember I wanted it to be kind of a blush bronzer dual so I'm applying it to my cheeks and later on I'm going to apply it kind of like a subtle natural contour all throughout my face. It blends very easily, it's super super creamy and easy to move around. I love it because again it's really easy to gently just Rub it on your face without tugging on your skin too hard. I have an idea. I'm actually going to use this as an eyeshadow to, to just slightly add more definition to my eyes. I love how everything is so subtle, so it really looks natural. Let's go back in and use this as a contour a little bit. Now I'm just going to apply it all over my face, wherever I would normally apply bronzer. So that was a shade Terracotta, and now I'm going to pull out Cheeky, which is the one that I originally had. And I'm going to apply Cheeky more as a blush, that way I can see the difference between the blush or the shade Terracotta that I kind of use more as a bronzer. I definitely see more pink now. Now that I've got more of the shadowing down, I want to highlight certain areas, so I'm going to use the Dewy Highlighting Balm. I'm mainly just applying it on the high points of my face and I have to say everything from Merit is so creamy and blendable. Gotta dot the corner of my eyes, right? And let's not forget the Cupid's bow. And now for the exciting part, their new signature lip lightweight lipstick, first in the shade Tiger. I'm so excited to try this new brick red shade. When I swatched it, it looks super wearable, so I'm really curious how it ends up looking on my lips. The formula is super creamy and glides very easily. It doesn't even feel like you're wearing much. I apologize, the sun was setting as I was trying to film this. You should still be able to see the color anyways and that way you could kind of see how the color looks in different lighting I don't know about you but I personally prefer some dim lighting when I'm out on dates to set the mood perks of filming in natural daylight to try to give you the truest color we're moving on to the second shade I chose which is Cabo and it is a brighter orange red and I love these orange reds for spring, summer, because it's just such a fun pop of color. And if I'm feeling that it's too bright, I can always go into the tiger shade, which is a brick red, to mix it and create a color of my own. I'm going in with the tinted lip oil in the shade Sangria to mix up the color even more, but also because my lips are feeling dry from winter, and this lip oil is so nourishing. And now I'm feeling fun, so let's let our hair loose and just have some fun with this makeup. I'm going to contour my nose now, 
because why not? I'm basically using terracotta as if I'm using a regular bronzer. And of course, to contrast that, I need to now use the Dayglow Dewy Highlighting Balm to touch up the high points. And I almost forgot, but we still have the 1980 Volumizing Eyebrow Pomade Gel. So I can fluff up my brows. I really like this gel because it doesn't deposit too much product at once. No one wants goopy looking brows and these deposit just the right amount of product so that your brows are fluffy but not goopy. And that's the look I created. I chose Tiger and Cobble which were the more brick red and red orange shades in the lineup but they also have other shades as well if you're interested. I'll also list the products and provide any links in the description box including an affiliate link if you so choose to use it if you found this video helpful. If not, it's perfectly fine. I just appreciate you watching this video. There you have it, a full face using Merit Beauty products without having to use any additional tools like brushes or anything. I just use my hands. It is so perfect for my everyday lifestyle. I am really loving this collection. I love to hear what you think about this collection, especially their new lipstick launches. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. If you like to connect with me beyond YouTube, I have an Instagram at flyphoenixfly, same as my channel name. Hope to see you there.